Lesson four, customer value. By understanding what valuable customers look like and importantly, what they do not look like, advertisers can affix differing levels of value to them and use that to inform marketing strategies. So this is why it's important to measure customer value. Five things that are important for us to know. Every business earns different economic value from different customers. This is the fact of doing business. By understanding what their valuable customers look like, advertisers can then make different decisions on, based on that value. What offers to provide to consumers, um, uh, what products to, how to price products to them, on and on, all of these things uh, being marketing strategies that can be informed by the value of the consumer that they're, con that they're connecting to. Understanding that value helps co co companies in a number of ways, but particularly in the areas of targeting consumers, automating bidding strategies, and attributing future value to those consumers. Optimizing over time and the ability to get better and uh, more profitable is certainly a benefit of uh, of, of any co uh, company that is rooting its marketing approach in lifetime value or in an assessment of customer value. And then finally, nearly all consumer action is measurable. So the only thing that really inhibits a brand's conversion tracking and the analysis that they can do in assigning value to the things consumers are, the actions consumers are taking, is really their understanding the, uh, and their creativity. We're looking at all the categories of measurement. Again, we are focused on customer value at this point. Uh, an interesting thing happened a while ago. Uh, Scott Kirby, the former president of American Airlines, in a conference call with, uh, with uh, uh, investors, let slip that 87% of his customers flew the airline only once in a year. And importantly, he mentioned that those 87% of customers created half, exactly 50% of the airline's annual revenue. Now, what that meant was that the other half, the other 50%, of American Airlines revenue had come from just 13% of its customers. That provided a really rare insight into just how lopsided customer value is in the case of American Airlines. It, this is not unique to American, right? Any company can look at their customer base and almost assuredly realize that they get more value from some and less value from others. Uh, typically, though, uh, particularly in the competitive airline space, uh, companies will keep those sorts of figures close to the vest. But it, it does, does go to further illustrate the point that different consumers produce different levels of value for brands. Now, how brands use that customer value really takes root in a couple ways. Um, there's this idea of them understanding the value of a consumer, attributing that value, that then can feed into their targeting decisions, who they want to talk to and who they don't. For a company that is operating at, at uh, great efficiency then, can use that targeting strategy to inform their bidding strategies automatically. When you think about the exchanges, the, the digital ad exchanges that they're operating in, if they are presented with the opportunity to put an ad in front of a consumer who has great value to them, that's going to create one bid that they would want to put forward, right? If that consumer isn't as valuable to them, if they know this, if they understand this, and that's used to, target, to inform their targeting, then they might make a different decision on how much they would be willing to bid. These then kind of systems work in a little bit of a recursive flywheel where they continue to optimize their understanding over time and just get better and better and more profitable. Now we talked about customer outcomes and sure there's the ultimate outcome of a sale which will certainly drive value for consumers and like we saw in the case of American Airlines. 
But there are a number of different behaviors that a consumer can engage in that is valuable for a brand. It could be everything from submitting a form to tell them a little bit more about you to watching a video that you placed on your website or the ad that you have you've put into market. Um, it could be in downloading an app if that's an important behavior for you or signing up for a newsletter. Whatever it is, all of these things do have some kind of value for you and it's important for brands to understand how they might value those actions because any of those actions can be measured, particularly on your own, your owned and operated sites. It's very easy through a tagging strategy to just get uh, a, a good sense of who is conducting these sorts of important uh, activities. And as long as you've affixed a value to it, that can, that can inform and feed into the value that you place on consumers.